lecture on Keating, we're going to talk a little bit about lack of occlusal clearance. It's our number one thing that we have to call doctors for, and probably every lab out there, the biggest problem they always have is not enough clearance. If you pretty much need on the occlusal of a posterior abutment two millimeters. We're talking you need at least three tenths of a substructure, two tenths with opaque, so that's a half millimeter. Then another millimeter and a half to try to get some aesthetics. It's very important that you have two millimeters. What we do is we like to use these, this product called Prep Check, and they come in different sizes. For posterior, we always recommend the two millimeters. And what it does, it's really kind of neat, is that it will mark your prep and the opposing when you check it in the mouth. So you'll go through, put this through, and as it hits, you can see where you're tight and on the prep where it's tight. It's something that really does help. When you're in the back of the mouth, you can't see sometimes. And if you can give us enough clearance, we can make beautiful restorations. But with not enough clearance, we usually have to reduce the prep or reduce the opposing. Um, it's better to go off the prep and it's better to be done when it's done at the impression, not later. Um, so it's important. The prep check is critical to make sure you're always given enough clearance. We use them daily and we really like the results we get. Lack of clearance should not happen all the time. You should have these and it should never happen after you start using these. Clearance is king. Please give us enough clearance and with these prep checks it's really easy. Thank you.